Namaste everyone, welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our lower body again. Uh, we are going to still try building more strength and keep working. Namaste everyone, welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our lower body again. As we do, we try to work on our lower body twice a week at least. It's important to get our foundations extremely strong. So without wasting much time, Let's begin. We'll start with our dynamic stretches, our warm ups, and then we'll go to our working sets. So let's go. So, for our first uh, dynamic stretch, we are going to do the greatest stretch to get our uh, hamstrings, our glutes, our hips open up a little bit, get active for our workout. Let's go. Push my leg a little bit out, go down, and twist a couple of seconds and then switch by now i hope you guys are more comfortable doing this particular stretch at ease and are able to do it at same pace i am doing this particular stretch can be done you know as soon as you wake up before starting your day you can do it just before your workout. You can also do it before going to sleep. Kind of opens up your hips. You see a good stretch. So you can hold this stretch. Just one more rep on each side. This time I'm going to try going a little bit wider to get more stretched. Remember, we are not supposed to hold any of the stretches for more than five seconds. The timeline is not strict, but it's good to have a strict time limit because stretching pre-workout is not advisable, especially static stretching. Dynamic stretching is fine, kind of opens up your joints gets you mobile for the day's workout so we'll quickly switch to the second uh, dynamic stretch for the second dynamic stretch i'll be doing my hip opener remember last time we used a kettlebell this time i've just taken a dumbbell a 10 kilo dumbbell to exaggerate my stretch one knee down facing forward one foot up facing your sides now you can take the dumbbell, hold it with both your hands, whichever way you're comfortable. For example, I hold it this way. Now I slowly shift my weight onto the one side where my foot is up and feel the stretch in my inner thigh. You need to just hold it for four to five seconds. That's about it. If you have a kettlebell, you can use that any kind of uh, calf muscle restriction, any kind of hip restriction would come out and you can work on them. Just one more rep. My calves and my inner thighs feel great. You can, you don't have to do this uh, exercise on the floor like I'm doing, you can use a yoga mat a softer surface area. I'm just habituated to doing it on the floor. So with switch sides, feel a little bit tighter on this side. Let's see how it goes. Yep, a bit tight. Let's try to readjust. Not so bad. It's okay if you have imbalance, I mean, from side to side. We are all usually dominant on one side, a bit, you know, stronger on one side due to the dominance we have on a particular side. So you might, uh, you know, come across a little bit of imbalance. So we are done with our second uh, stretch. Now for our third one, 
you just go into the deep squat as usual. If you're still unable to go into a deep squat, try working on your calf muscle tightness because that's usually the main culprit. And post that, the hip opener exercise should help you going a bit lower because if your hips are tight, even then you would be uh, challenged in terms of going into a deep squat. So to go into a deep squat, the first thing we are going to do is hinge forward by pushing our glutes behind. Now when I feel a great stretch on my hamstrings, I let my knees bend facing outwards slowly. Feel my hips, hip joint opening and then I sit down completely. Few people are able to sit down in such a manner that, that their glutes touch the floor. That's, uh, it differs from a person to person, so it's absolutely okay if you touch the floor and are still, you know, completely planted on your foot. Now I slowly shift my weight onto one foot at a time. And from here, I want to get up. That's it. That felt good. So we are done with our dynamic stretching. My feet could feel good. They're not restricted. If you do have any kind of restrictions in, in terms of your calf muscle or your hips, uh, you can use the hip opener. For calves, it's simple. You place your foot at a height and you simply push your knee way forward than your uh, toes. But if you still are unable to and your heel starts coming off the ground, that means your calves are really tight. You need to massage them before doing the stretches or the exercise. The massage would relieve a little bit of tension, so you'll be able to go forward. But you have to do it on a consistent basis for uh, your calf muscle stretchability to improve. So that's it. That's it with our stretches, dynamic stretches. Now we'll, we'll go into our warm-up exercise. So for our first warm-up exercise, we are going to do the glute bridges. Uh, I have done this previously on my videos as a warm-up and also as an exercise. You can do this lying on a floor or if you have a broad bench, you can do it on that. It's absolutely fine. The important part is to squeeze your glutes to get them activated for the exercise. So I lay down flat, get comfortable position. So from here, I want to get my body into a straight plane in, in, an, uh, in a straight angle with my knees. So I squeeze my glutes to get my hips straight. Right now my hips are bent. So if I squeeze my glutes, my hips become straight. Uh, not much to do with my arms. So I'm just going to keep my arms here. We're going to do 15 to 20 reps. I want my glutes completely active for my working sets. All you want to do, or the cue, best cue for this exercise is to squeeze your butt cheeks as strongly as possible, clinch them together to get yourself into a straight line or your hips straight. You don't want to use your uh, quadriceps much, your quad muscles. All the work has to be done by your glutes. Your hamstrings will kick in a little bit because they are connected to your glutes but otherwise the majority of the job has to be done by your glute maximus medius a little bit minimus is not doing much minimus is just try, right now trying to maintain the balance Five more reps. Feel good amount of contraction. Three, two,
one. That's it. So we are done with our first warm-up exercise. Now let's go for our second warm-up exercise. For my second warm-up exercise, I'm going to do seated hamstring curls. Uh, you can do any of the hamstring variations to get the hamstrings warmed up. I have seated machine at my disposal, so I'm going to use that. We are going to do 15 to 20 reps. So lock this properly. Both the legs, one go. Feel the contractions. Always, uh, or the way I prefer to work on my hamstring is, think of them as your uh, bicep muscle. So, how you contract your bicep is how you want to feel the contractions in your hamstrings. So, when it comes to your legs, I always consider my hamstrings to be my biceps and my quad muscles to be my triceps. So, I try to imitate the contraction, the way I squeeze them or get into contraction, like the way I do for my arms. Feel good. I'll do five more reps. Yes, that was good. Now we are done with our warm-up exercises. Let's begin with our working sets. So for my first exercise, I'm going to do the Bulgarian split squats or single leg squats, like I want to remember them that I'm, or the, the way I like to work on them is thinking that I'm doing a single leg squat. So simple, you have done this previously. Make sure you have a bench or a stool beside, uh, sorry, uh, behind you. And now you want to do a single leg squat. I have taken a couple of dumbbells into my arms. You can use straps and gloves to not tire out your grip strength if you're going a bit heavy. So now when I want to squat with one leg, I can, but I need a little bit of support. So I'm just going to put one foot on top. Now just going to squat with one leg as simple as that. I'm going to do 10 to 12 repetitions each side. Quite challenging. I'm going to switch. When you're switching, it's easy to remember the position because you already know where the other foot was. So you can just put the foot beside it, take the tired leg behind for support and continue. That was a burner. That felt good. A small needle come out, which was irritating me. That was good. So we're going to take a short break and go for our second set. Let's go for our second set. I haven't increased the weight or decreased it. It was challenging. It was a bit tough, but I like it. I was able to come near to failure, my 11th rep. <sighs> so remember, single leg squad. Squat, you need support to do that. So you put one foot on the top and start squatting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That was quick, 
but not easy. It's pushing really hard, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoo! That felt good. We take a short break and go for our third set. Let's go, let's go for our third set. I know if you're still out of breath and it's quite a demanding exercise, you can always, uh, you know, drop the weight if you feel it's a bit heavy, the first weight. I'm sticking to the same amount of weight. Quite a challenger I am, but let's go. Let's keep pushing. Okay, position. Okay, that was okay. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that felt <laughs> really quick, but now my leg is hurting. <laughs> Well, that's fine. Let's keep going. Left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whew. That's it. We're done. This exercise, easy, short and simple. So let's take a good two to three minute break and go for our second exercise. Let's go for our second exercise. I'm going to do my calf raises standing. So I'm just using a simple step up box, toes on the height, heels dropped, standing straight and push. Make sure every push is explosive and going down is slow. I'm just not going to count the reps. I don't want to go till failure. Keep pushing till the time calves can no more contract. That's it, done. Immediately switch. Start doing toe races. Using the bench for support. Working on my TBRS muscles. Oof. That's it. Take a break. Go for our second set. Oh, let's go for our second set. Again, repetitions to failure or almost near failure. So, I'm just using the bench for support. Do, uh, do it without support too. It's absolutely fine. Just using it to make sure I don't lose balance. If you do have a standing calf race machine, Use that if you're not comfortable doing standing calf raises. Do it seated, it's absolutely fine. The calves are a bit tired, especially my right leg. Let me keep pushing. Ooh, not able to. That's quite a bit tight. Let me work on my toe raises now. There are a uh, few gyms do have the equipment to load the toes for doing toe raises. So if you have that, use that. 
get more work done. Otherwise, you can do it just as easily as this. Uh, that's it, done. So we're done with our second exercise. Oof, my calves feel full. We take a break and go for our third exercise. For our third exercise, we're going to do seated hamstring curls again, which we did in our warm up. But now we are going to do it as a walking set. So if you don't have this, if you have only a lying hamstring curl machine, use that. If you don't have any of it, you can also do RDLs, the Romanian deadlifts, which are basically hamstring focused. So let's begin. My calves are still tight. That's OK. That's fine. I don't have to do much here. So let's begin. We're going to do 10 to 12 reps. Focus on the contraction of your hamstrings. So we take a short break, go for our second set. I might be struck. Okay, it's off. So take a break and go for our second set. So let's go for our second set. I'll up the weight this by a little. Whew. 12 repetitions still is the target. Okay, locked in. Let's go for the reps. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Ooh, that's very good. Short break, go for our third. Let's go, let's go for our third set. Increase the weight a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Legs are already shivering. That's good. Very good amount of work done. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, oh, fifteen. Few extra reps for that extra burn. Otherwise, we are done. We're done with our exercise. Take a short break and go for our next exercise. For last exercise, do the dead hang. Let's go. Oof. That's it. Oof. Take a minute and go for our static stretches. For our first static stretch, stretch our hamstrings. Simple. Done this before. Place your leg at a height and slowly push your glutes behind. 
start feeling the stretch and hold there for 15 to 20 seconds. You can pull your toes, exaggerate the stretch, move your leg sideways to shift it from one hamstring to the, basically you have multiple fibers running, so you can shift it from one fiber to the other, the stretch or the load of the stretch. Few more seconds. And that's it. Shift leg. Same thing. Push your glutes behind. Start feeling the stretch. Pull your toes if you want. Exaggerate the stretch. And then turn your leg sideways to shift the load of the stretch from one muscle fiber to the other in your hamstrings. Hold for a few more seconds. Ooh, and relax. Now, we immediately switch to a quadricep stretch again. Stand straight, take one foot in the arm, pull it behind. We've done this previously, get straight, feel the stretch. Good. The other leg. Done. And that's it. That's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. If you like the uh, workout, I try to keep it a bit short and explosive. Uh, please do drop a like. If you have any feedback, comment. I will get to, uh, you know, know what is the feedback. <laughs> if, uh, otherwise, I would never know. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It gives me a lot of positive feedback and helps me keep pushing. On that note, uh, make sure you finish with your static stretches. If you still feel a bit of tightness, foam rolling will help you. If while static stretching you felt a bit of discomfort or there was pain, uh, regress to foam rolling and then uh, do the static stretches. Otherwise, if your sleep is in place, if your nutrition is in place, your recovery will be on, your mark, on, on the mark. So on that note, thank you so much for joining me again. Have a good evening.